Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and on this very mild, very nearly December evening we are doing a, uh, a late walk around this freshly arrived Benamar Maleo 201. So this is a 2015 on a 15 plate uh, Benamar Milio 201 which is a 6 metre compact low profile coach built. Low profile meaning there's no over cab bed based on the ubiquitous Fiat Cato. Um, so real good looking van this one. It's one owner from new. Let's have a little look at the uh, window sheet. So uh, she's a Benamar Maleo 201 2015. Uh, she's got a height adjustable rear fixed bed it's four seat belts, two berth, you could probably hash it into a bed, I don't know, you could probably modify it if you had to, but it's a two berth with four seat belts. Three and a half tonne gross vehicle weight, which is based on the Fiat Cato 2.3 turbo diesel, six speed manual, about, about 15,000 miles, um, just under six metres, 2.3 wide, 2.8 tall, and price is 42.95. We expect this one owner van uh, to sell very, very quickly. It's, it's a really nice thing. So looking at the front, we've got the silver style pack and um, I think it's got the LED headlights. Possibly not, doesn't really matter if it does or it doesn't. Um, white colour coded bumper. The original Fiat wheel trims are intact or inside. The uh, one and only owner of this one took them off, but they are in the garage if you wanted to refit them. I think it looks kind of cool just without them actually. Um, we've got a wind out Fiamma awning. That's not standard, that's been added outside LED awning light. Very modern looking van, in fairness, very on trend. These Benamars are really, really popular. Benamar, a Spanish manufacturer, part of the Trigano group, um, actually build a very good van. We get a lot of them second hand, always sell really quickly. Not had a damp one yet at all, which is really good for any coach built van. Uh, it's a very good news. Double glazed windows all the way around. Um, we've got a category one van bits alarm system on this one as well, which has been added. There are your fridge vents for your three way gas mains electric or 12 volt fridge freezer. Got your gas locker here. Now this was a buy in. The uh, owner of this van decided to give up motoming. He bought it from new in 2015. He's looked after it really well. Um, because of that, he's left two gas bottles in, which are great. Because if you uh, may or may not have noticed, gas bottles are very hard to get hold of at the moment. But because this is a buy in, he's left all the uh, bits and bobs and equipment in it, which is nice. So at the back of this van, we've got a transverse fixed bed. So there's a high level fixed bed, goes across the back. Sleep crossways, big comfortable bed window up there for it and underneath that is a garage now this has got a height adjustable bed this one um, so the bed can come up and down that will come down another six inches or so from there now in the garage we've got a bike rack which you can put on the back if you want to take your bikes with you and don't want to put them in the garage there's some corner steadies which the previous owners took off as he's had a tow bar fitted but they could be refitted if you prefer you don't really need them some silver insulating screens from around the cab we've got some leveling blocks the other side and this is a great space to keep all of your chairs your barbecue wind brakes all of that malarkey you've also got spare wheel and toolkit in there as well Condition of the body works bang on all the way around. There's no faults at all on that. I can squeeze through the gap to the back there. So we've got the bike rack fixing arms on the back of it, so that will just clip onto there. There is a tow bar. I'm not sure who's fitted this tow bar, whether it's type approved or not. We'd have to check that out. Um, not sure, probably is, but uh, it's got a tow bar on the back. But say if that's not type approved, that would have to be removed. But we'll find out about that one. We've got a high level reversing camera at the back. So no faults condition wise, just bang on the money. Coming around the driver's side, so we'll have a look at that storage locker from the other side. It's nice having two doors, it's easier to access things. So this is your storage locker from the other side, so again really deep space all through there. And that's the winder there which you use to raise and lower your bed so you can wind this up again and then you've got full height to put your bikes and such like on there got Truma digitally controlled gas and electric heating and hot water. You've got an onboard water tank um, which is inside the van so that won't freeze up and inside pipe work. So these are capable of going skiing if you wish to go skiing in them. Second bedroom window, bathroom window and then your big lounge window at the front there. Fresh water fill up there for your onboard fresh water tank. Mains hook up there for your um, charging your battery and hooking up to the mains. 
In the cab side of things, she's done 11,000 miles. You can't trust the window sheet, it's 11,000 miles. We've got your big reversing camera monitor there. Really high cab spec, including auto headlights. I think we've got a sensor up there for them. Uh, sat nav, Bluetooth, DAB stereo. Don't fold me on the DAB bit, but certainly sat nav with Bluetooth stereo, TomTom Tom European mapping, steering wheel mounted controls for your, uh, for your stereo system. That's all in really good condition as well. There's pretty much not a mark on this that I can see. It's in really good nick. It's not been smoked in. It's not had a dog in or anything like that. Um, and then going inside the van, we've got a fly screen door as you come in there. And then into a typical European front lounge. It's quite a nice little L-shaped lounge actually. You've got an L-shaped infill cushion there which makes it comfortable to put your feet up. Twin swivel captain seats. These fit seats are really, really comfy and they've been uh, over upholstered uh, by Benamar as well there. Very modern inside, very, very light, very modern. Have a quick look around, I'll zoom out a little bit so we can see a bit more. You can see it's a really nice, light, contemporary place to be. Now these Benamars are built out of plastic, predominantly, so you can feel that, that's plastic and that's very damp resistant, so um, it really works well in fairness to them. Um, a little flip up seat there so you can put your uh, passenger seat around, you've got somewhere to put your feet up, same over there of an evening. Full cab blinds around the front, cab blinds uh, and a massive opening front panoramic roof light along with another large opening front skylight as well which is really really good. Upholstery is in fantastic condition. So it's really 11,000 miles, it's not been used very much at all this one. So we've got your double forward facing seat there. This table will spin around. The table does drop down. I think you could hash this into a not very good bed for a kid. So it's probably more of a three berth if you needed it to be. Because these are built for the UK market, they do anglicize them a bit. So this is one of the only European vans you'll find both with a good oven with a combi grill, one electric and two gas hobs, which is a very English character trait, but also with a factory fitted microwave, which is very, very good. Three-way fridge freezer there. You've got concertina blinds and fly screens on all the windows, which are the better ones as they're more adjustable and quieter on the road. Plenty of workspace. You forget this is only a six metre van. A Range Rover is, is 5.2 metres today. LED lighting all the way around. Looking into the bathroom, you wouldn't think you'd be able to fit a separate shower in a six metre van, but you can. So you've got a shower screen, proper shower screen that'll come around to give you a separate shower cubicle. That's heated uh, in there. And then you've got a window and a roof skylight for ventilation, which is great, so it's a real good size. Double fold up steps, and that's your rear bed there. Now, when I dropped the bed down before, I crushed a little cushion, so um, they, they will come lower than that. I just made a mistake there. But you can see your rear bed's a really good size. It's a proper um, square mattress, like cut off there. High level storage across the back, and you've got a roof mounted TV aerial and a TV bracket there, which can face the front or the back all in excellent condition i really couldn't fault this van if i could fault it it's just got some leaves in the uh, uh in the mozzie mesh but we'll clear them out but it's a really nice place to be so i'm just gonna have a quick look on the roof if i can get up to the roof and see if it's got a uh, see if it's got a solar panel that's the roof and yeah you can see it's got a big solar panel up there as well so we've got a a reversing camera, an alarm system, a TV aerial, an awning, a solar panel, a bike rack, possibly a tow bar, um, cab blinds, aircon, cruise, sat nav, 11,000 miles, one owner, and spot on condition, all on this 6 metre Benamar Mileo 201. It's got a separate shower and oven and a microwave as well. It's really, really good news. It's 4295 uh, new Benamar Mileos today, uh, well over 60,000 now. This won't last very long. So contact us if you're interested at Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch. You can uh, ring us up uh, on Highbridge Devon, not the Somerset Branch. This is at the Devon Branch with us. Uh, or you can put in an internet inquiry through our highbridgecaravans.co.uk website. Uh, or if you leave a comment on this uh, YouTube video, if you've seen this on YouTube. We don't monitor them every day, but we'll come back to you when we see it. So Benamar Melio 201 at Highbridge Caravans Devon. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.